Let's learn how to remove multiple characters in Power BI Query Editor just like this. And it will only require two steps. First, let's see how we can replace a single character in this table using the built-in Replace Values button. Let's choose these two columns. Then click Replace Values. The value to find will be the slash character and we will leave the replace field blank. Let's understand the function that makes this possible. Table.ReplaceValue uses five parameters. A table, the old value, the new value, the replacer function, and the columns which you want the replacement to happen. Now if we want to keep removing other characters, we will have to repeat this process for each of them. Unfortunately, we cannot add more characters as the old value for this function. It will not work. It will try to find the exact combination in the exact order which you type there. So how can we remove many different characters independently in one shot? It's time to understand how list.accumulate works. Let's see this function in action in the query editor. Here we have a basic example. List.accumulate uses three parameters. A list, the seed which is the initial value that will be accumulated, and an accumulator function. The secret to better understand this function is right here. This state will receive the initial value provided by the seed and will be accumulated in each iteration and current is the element in the list which is being iterated. So let's see what list.accumulate is doing here and how it got a result of 15. We define the function to be state plus current. So list.accumulate starts the iteration with the seed, which is zero as the state and add one to it, which is the first element of this list. The result is one and that will be the new state for the next iteration. It will add 2 this time, which is the next element in the list. And now we have 3, which will be the new state. And this will proceed until the last element of this list is iterated, to finally get the result of 15. I just want to make two observations here. This function can be defined in different ways. You can even use conditional logic here, as to find the maximum value for example. You could define like this other example. If state bigger than current, then state, else current. And now we get 5 as the result. And here is the iteration. Feel free to pause this video and check how it is iterated. The second observation are related to these terms. State and current are just used to easily identify what each one does. But you can replace these names for whatever you want like x and y for example. Now let's see how we can use list.accumulate to remove multiple characters with only two steps. First we need a list of the characters that we would like to remove. So let's add a new step and then let's type text.toList. And inside double quotes we will add the characters to be removed. Now that we have this list, let's add the second and last step and start with the function list.accumulate. The list in the first parameter will be the one we just made, so we refer to it using the step name of this list. Now the initial value, or the seed, will be the table that we want the characters to be removed, which we also refer using the step name. Then we start our function with state and current. Now for our function, we're gonna use the table.replaceValue function that we just saw at the start of this video. Remember, the first argument is the table that we want to remove the characters. This table will be transforming and changing its state with each iteration. So this is the state. To make this easier, we can call the function as table instead of state. So we change it here and here. The next argument is the old value. In this case, each element from our list, that is, the current part of our function, which we can also rename for better understanding. Let's call it old and change it here and here. 
Now for the new value, we don't want any character, so let's type double quote twice. Let's use the replacer function. And for the last argument, let's type inside curly brackets the name of the columns that we want these characters to be removed. And we have our final result. All the characters we defined in the list were removed. And here is a visual explanation so you can understand what just happened. As always, I hope this has been helpful to you. If you know different ways to achieve the same result, please post in the comments below. If you have any suggestions, please post in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you soon!